Yeah, Dave, this is an interesting one because that video that you're talking about had so many people fired up, but when you actually look at it, uh, you get people on both sides. Some saying that the police did too much, others saying that they have to do that to keep people in the area safe. The owner tells me he would have rather had them hit his dog with that taser than have him get hit by a car. Caught on camera, a dog being tased by police. <laughs> Oh my God. The woman who uploaded it, upset with police, and those who saw this, they quick oh to weigh God. in. The video amassed thousands of views in a matter of hours, but the owner of the dog, Ryan Gorecki, sees this far differently. It could have been a lot worse. Ryan Gorecki owns the dog you just saw in that video, and while the officer's decision to use a taser on his dog, Chewy, angered many online, he has a very different message. Shame on you. Social media is not what it's cracked up to be. You're just going to see one side of the He pointed out that Chewy is doing fine. And while this <laughs> may have looked bad, it was his significant other that actually picked up the phone and called police asking for help with the dog. He doesn't bite, but he's pretty intimidating and he likes to run up on people and bark. Tonight, Gorecki said he's afraid his dog could have actually been hit by a car if police hadn't taken the steps that you see here. They did what they had to do, protect and serve the public. And unfortunately, they tased him, but as you can clearly see, Chewie is just fine and dandy, even though he's taking a little nap right now. <laughs> yeah, Chewie, certainly a trooper. He walked right up to me as soon as I went to that house tonight for that Only on 7 interview. He was sniffing my hand, our photographer's hand. He was just a doll, and they, again, are saying thank you to police. But, of course, as you saw in that story, lots of people weighing in on the other side, and you can always get on that conversation over our Facebook page or online at WXYZ.com. We're live in Roseville tonight. Matthew Smith, 7 Action News.